What's up guys? Welcome back. This is Tony from Gulikido Dogs and for this video we work on the head up position episode 2. So on the first video we were working on that head up on the heel start position. Now we work it further onto the heel. Making use of my natural arm movement, once I take the first step with my left foot, my hand will wind up on the back of her head before it goes on the left side. So I make it a criteria for her to target that hand on the very first step of the heel. Not only does she get a good head position, but automatically we avoid her going far too much forward. So for the heel, I'm using the hand target in three different places actually. This to control where I want her head to be. Now the hand target when placed on the left side of her acts as a reminder. At times I will give the command for her to execute the movement so she needs to be on the alert. And she also needs to pay attention if I'm stopping in heel where she needs to remain in stand or doing a hold where she needs to be on the sit. So now I'm proofing those head position by luring her head down first freezing that position and asking her for the head oh. up. Then I do repetitions on luring the head down once again, oh. but this time making her do the head up movement oh. all on her own. This way I get to see that she does understand. Still on the proofing, but this time notice that I lured her much further forward, making her really get where her head needs to be. This way I point also that she should never be that far forward. Also the command I'm now using is the heel command as I want that related to the head position for now. Because she was doing so well, I wanted to add a certain stress level in her, so using the ball in the same manner. Making it a bit more harder for her to focus, this way I get to provoke mistakes and verbally correct it out. Switching over to a higher value reward and we now work on keeping her head off my thigh but maintaining the head position. Now like any other training, when teaching your dog or doing repetition work, always have a space where you can work your dog without them being easily distracted before taking the exact same training outside. Don't assume your dog knows just because it's doing it great inside. Vamos. Good girl. Pass. Yep. It may not be noticeable, but Okami has a higher energy when we train outside. But because we do our basic maintenance in the garage, it makes it easier for me to train her or control her outside. Gradually adding more distraction and doing it in new places to generalize the skill. Alright then, hope this video was to your likings and hopefully gave you some ideas with your own training. Anyways, this is Tony from Gulikula Dogs. Enjoy the rest of the video and thanks for watching! Don't you think I should go easier? But I like my life the way it is. Plenty of parties and marathons. I like my life the way it is. Try to tell me I'm living wrong Cause I worked hard for this And I like my life the way it is I like my life the way it is I like my life the way it is I like my life, I like my life I spend so much my time Ooh.
Try to tell me I'm living wrong Cause I worked hard for this 